In a major breakthrough in medicine, scientists from the United States and Canada have found a new antibiotic powerful enough to kill a superbug. The interesting part of this discovery is the use of AI to detect them. How did they do it? Usually, narrowing down the right antibacterial chemicals against bacteria can be a long, difficult process. This is where algorithms come in because AI machines are given large amounts of data and training themselves on identifying patterns and solutions based on them. According to MIT, the researchers first exposed a bomani grown in a lab dish to about 7,500 different chemical compounds to see which ones could help pause the growth of the bacterium. Then they fed the structure of each molecule into the machine learning model. They also told the model whether each structure could prevent bacterial growth or not. This allowed the algorithm to learn chemical features associated with growth inhibition. Once the model was trained, the researchers used it to analyze a set of 6,680 compounds and took less than two hours and yielded a few hundred results. Among these, the researchers chose 240 to test experimentally in the lab focusing on compounds with structures that were different from those of existing antibiotics. Those tests yielded nine antibiotics, including one that was very potent and effective at killing A. Bormanni. This has been named a Bawson. According to Jonathan Stokes, lead author and assistant professor in McMaster's Department of Biomedicine and Biochemistry, with AI, the vast regions of chemical space can be explored rapidly, increasing the chances of discovering fundamentally new antibacterial molecules significantly. Why is this an important discovery? Superbugs are hard to kill. They are a type of bacteria resistant to several types of antibiotics. Each year these drug-resistant bacteria infect more than 2 million people in the US and kill at least 23,000 according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. The whose list of superbugs highlighted bacteria that are having built-in abilities to find new ways to resist treatment and can pass along genetic material that allows other bacteria to become drug-resistant as well. How do bacteria become resistant to drugs? Antibiotics are medicines used to prevent and treat bacterial infections. Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria change in response to the use of these medicines. This ultimately threatens the ability of medicines to treat common infectious diseases. The superbug discovered is considered to be the most dangerous one because it cannot be killed by any kind of medicine so far. The study, Deep Learning Guided Discovery of an Antibiotic Targeting Acinetobacter Bormanni, published in the journal Nature Chemical Biology on 25th May dealt with the bacterium Acinetobacter bormanni. Researchers from Canada's McMaster University and Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in the U.S. participated in this study. In 2017, the bacterium was identified by the World Health Organization, WHO, as one of the world's most dangerous antibiotic-resistant bacteria and can cause pneumonia meningitis, and infect wounds, leading to death. A. Bomani is usually found in hospital settings where it can survive on surfaces for long periods. The whose list of superbugs highlighted bacteria that are having built-in abilities to find new ways to resist treatment and can pass along genetic material that allows other bacteria to become drug-resistant as well. What does this mean for the future? With the discovery of new diseases due to these microorganisms, the cure for them can be discovered simultaneously or in a quicker manner if AI develops properly in the future. This makes it difficult for bacteria to adapt drugs since we can find alternatives in a short span of time and in them whenever possible. Also, the older, incurable diseases could be possibly cured as well with the help of machine learning tools discovering new pathological pathways for the same.